Hi, I'm Charlie Kasov. I'm a math teacher, and today we're going to learn steps to teach scientific numbers. First of all, scientific numbers are also called scientific notation. They're developed as a way to deal with very big numbers and to make them more manageable. But when you want to teach it, you want to start with small numbers. So let's look at the number 135. Now, in order to convert this into scientific notation, we want the decimal place to be after the 1. Right now, we have 135.0. You never have to write it like this, but that would be true. So we want this decimal to move over 2. 1, 2. So we'd say 1.35. Now, because we've moved it over two places, we are going to say times 10 to the second. And that is this exponent right here is what tells us how many places the decimal has been moved. So we could make it bigger. We could say 1350. And if we want that in scientific notation, we would move it over 1, 2, 3. And we'd say 1.35 times 10 to the third. Now another thing that's important to teach is how to convert back from scientific notation to regular numbers. So imagine we had 4.5678 times 10 to the fifth. And we want to convert that back to a normal number. Well, we, t we look at this 5, and we say, OK, this 5 means this decimal place has to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, but there's no more number, 5. So we say, OK, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0, point 0. So 456,780.0. So I'm Charlie Kasov, and you just learned steps to teach scientific numbers. Thanks a lot.